things like the, pop, the highest level policy makers that, that you're a part of are really kind of responding now to um, a lot of the mistakes that were made by the Bush administration. It seems to be that, that you're, trying, you're introducing a new formula of how to recapture foreign opinion and public opinion here in the U.S. Um, I mean, would you say that so? Is this a precipitous shift from how policy is to be implemented? Because that's the way it really reads. Well, I think it's a gradual shift. If you go back to uh, the first term of this Bush administration, uh, there was a great deal of unilaterals. I mean, a great deal of sort of it's my way or the highway or we give the orders and so forth. I think the fact that that became costly, that we stumbled on a number of things trying to solve problems, <coughs> that, that by the second term of, the, of this Bush administration, we were beginning to see more multilateral treatment. Um, and some of the people who were particularly influential in the first term, like Donald Rumsfeld or Paul Wolfowitz or John Bolton and so forth, who were particularly of that persuasion of you know, we do it, others have no choice but to follow, uh, left the administration. So I think there's, if you think of this as a pendulum, I think the pendulum has already begun to shift. Um, I do think that the next administration um, the potential will continue shifting, whether it's McCain or one of the two Democrats. So I think there is an increased awareness in uh, American foreign policy that uh, uh, we need to combine hard and soft power to be effective, and uh, that we have to have allies, we have to have them working with us. Associated with um, you know, from what I've read, there was a lot of alienation engendered by you know, the unilateralism that was practiced. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, is this something that is all, how, what's been the response there? Well, by and large, I would say that of the, of the people who spend a lot of time thinking about foreign policy, people with accounts on foreign relations and so forth, um, that what I described is true. In other words, that, that there's a feeling that we have overdone in the past. Now, not everybody, there's still some people who disagree with that, for example, with John Bolton. Published his <coughs> memoirs, and uh, I think his views are unchanged. I mean, thinks we should just tell others what to do. And if you read the, the book which I reviewed for the Washington Post, I think that that's not an unfair view of his feeling about America changes the power. Or somebody like William Crystal, who used to enter the standard, uh, who is a, a neoconservative, I think, would probably have that 